All right, I've made myself a little aluminum rectangle. This is angle aluminum. It's one and a half by one eighth inch thick. Uh, you can buy it retail at Home Depot and Lowe's. It's pretty expensive. You could go to a, a scrap metal yard and get it recycled and save a whole bunch of money by doing that. Myself, I didn't, at that time, I didn't have time when I bought this. I bought this about a month ago and didn't have time to go to the wrecking yard. I did pay higher price for this, but I had some discount coupons and such. But uh, the rectangle is, my solar panels are 47 inches wide. And so the rectangle is 47 and a quarter wide. And the these bars right here are 85 inches long. 86 inches long and four of my panels side by side would be 86 uh, 85 inches long one inch shorter So it'll leave, leave me a little bit of gap in between the the panels like a quarter inch or so Also, you'll notice that it's overhanging my pickup cab, which is fine the issue the challenge I have is my cab is lower in the front and taller in the back and that gives it a slant look when you look at it from the side and so it's aerodynamic but then i don't know whether my rack should be lower down in front to follow the angle or whether it should be up higher so i'm concerned about it being tilted down getting wind on it and getting some downforce some push down that will put stress on top of the uh camper shell all the holes and everything will be on the fiberglass camper shell nothing on the truck will be modified at all and so i'm not concerned if i mess up i'll i'll have to seal it up and we'll repair that but i'm not damaging my pickup truck at all and i bought the camper shell for 300 bucks used and so if i mess up i just mess up and we'll move on from there all right so uh i'm in the process right now of I've got the, the rack where I want it on the truck, and I've got marks. I've been using a Sharpie and my levels and my tape measures to find center line of the truck and find, or the cab, the truck, the camper shell, and I've been finding the marks of where I think the feet, the supporting feet are going to be. And so I've got all that marked, and now I've got to make the upright legs to attach that to the feet and so that's where I am now all right so I've got my uprights laid out here these are this is three and an eight three and an eight six seven and three quarter seven and three quarter and I'm going to cut them out with the hacksaw deburr them get all the sharp edges off of them and then I'll show I'll notch them I'll show you how I'm going to notch them in a minute as you can see now I've got one of the shorter uprights cut and I'm trying to fit it on there uh, I've got the the front and back I think marked off well and it's going to go on the inside it's not going to go on the outside so what I'm going to have to do is to get it on the inside is I've got to cut a notch here to because the other side is not it's not flat this is angle iron this part sticks out here and so I've got to cut this, this part is going to be flipped over to this side. So I've got to cut a notch in one of these to, to fit underneath this angle iron. And so I'm going to have to really uh, think how it's going to fit on the other side and put a notch in there so it'll fit correctly. I'll show you after I've got it. All right. All right. As you can see, I've got the four... These are the two front ones and they're opposite of each other and I've got the two back ones and they're opposite of each other. These cuts, I did this with a hacksaw so they're not perfect but they're not gonna be noticeable. I think everything will be structurally okay. All right, now to put them on, we're gonna uh, do start doing some drilling and cutting now. All right, you can see how I cut the notch in the piece of angle iron right here and it's going to fit in this area here so how i install it will be to a little bit more difficult one-handed need a camera stand i guess so it's going to fit like that and then this this the foot is it's going to attach to the uh camp shell there so i'll clamp it all together and drill some holes i've got quarter inch stainless steel fasteners to put on it that will keep it from rusting 
and that's how it's going to attach and then we're going to drill holes straight through the top of the camper shell into the fiberglass and we'll put some uh, sealer on top of it to keep the water leaks out and so I'm going to replicate this part one more time for the other side over here and then we'll do it two more times for the front but they will be taller brackets it will be ready to bolt the thing down to the truck so rather than doing this because this is going to be on the side and i was going to put a bolt through here the bolt is going to interfere with the fit of the solar panels so rather than on the side of the angle iron i bent this tab down on this one and it's going to bolt to the bottom of the angle iron angle angle aluminum and so this is going to bolt to the bottom of the angle aluminum and then we're going to have this bolt to the footing on the bottom at the uh, camper shell and so i wanted to clarify that to make that change for you okay i've got the whole frame made and and the legs bolted on and right now i'm trying to get the feet the support feet screwed and bolted into the truck uh, the camper shell and so what i did was i drilled a hole here but i don't know how thick the fiberglass is there and i don't know how long the bolts to to uh, get to secure the feet to the pot top of the camper shell here so what i've got is a, a, a hook i made with a um, coat angle wire and i'm going to stick it down here and hopefully pull it back and it will give me hook it on there and then pull it back and it'll give me so i've got about a quarter inch of um fiberglass there all right i wasn't sure if it was double wall or not i'm also going to do the same at the back because the back is uh higher and it'll maybe a little bit different than the front so i'll find that out as well you can see how i got the rack part finished and so now it's time to set up the uh, panels onto the rack you can see it from the side view of how it's going to look it kind of looks like a work truck looking situation i haven't driven it to find out how much wind is involved i'm thinking on putting the two panels back here and having one of them tilt forward so that we could have a tilting possibility to get more power in the, in the early morning or late in the afternoons uh, i got to get to work to that more more to come all right so i got the uh, panels laying up here and from having them in the remote portable stage i have hinges between the two attached and uh I'm kind of playing with the possibility of tilting this one forward if I need to. All right, looks like we got it all finished. We've got both panels on there. We've got the back panel where I can remove this bracket here and it will lay flat. So both of them will lay flat or this back panel will tilt towards the front. Under two 100 watt energy panels got them off of amazon and then i'm using a mpp mppt controller acupower echo power and it looks like i'm putting in six and a half amps right now and the batteries are all happy we're not using any charge right now i uh, used a lot yesterday and didn't recharge them so they're definitely recharging right now but overall, very happy with the uh, setup. Um, when they lay flat, they'll charge while we're driving down the road. And then we can tilt it whenever we need it for mornings or afternoon charging as well.